Yes, Admiral. Yes, yes, I know. I, I, I realize, Admiral, that we've been late getting those reports in, but uh, we've been very busy down here, Admiral. I said we've been very busy down here, Admiral. Uh, no. No, 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 sir. I, I wasn't yelling at you. Of course I wouldn't do that. There was a noise outside here. I, I, yes, sir. Yes. Well, we, we'll get the men just as fast as we can, Admiral. We, I said we'll get the men right away. Uh, Oh, no, 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 not you, Admiral. Of course not you. I'm so sorry about it. So you see, the noise went by again outside, and I was... Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Goodbye, sir. Place. This is going on. I do... <laughs> Overgrown water nymph. I radioed the 73 boat, sir. He's on his way. Oh, that's no excuse. Oh, I tell you, Carpenter. Would you look at that hand? Would you look at it? That used to be as steady as a rock before Mikhail came to this base. Now oh, it shakes so much you could get seasick just watching the thing. Oh, I tell you, Carpenter, I'm gonna crack up. I've got to get rid of Mikhail once and for all, but how? How? Oh, would somebody help me? Somebody, please help me. Please. Perhaps if you took your mind off Mikhail for a few minutes, these directives just came in from Comfleet, sir. The chief medical officer is flying down for a physical fitness check of all combat officers. Later, Carpenter, later. But, sir, it also says that any officer out of condition or overweight will be shipped out for reassignment. Yes, yes, the hand, Carpenter. Look at the hand. Oh, it's still shaking, sir. <laughs> Come in. Good afternoon, Captain. You want to see me? <laughs> I'd love to see you, Mikhail. At the end of a rope. Oh? Well, what'd I do now, sir? For your information, Commander, I'm running a naval base here and not an aquacade. Aquacade? <laughs> <laughs> you know perfectly well what you were doing out there. You were water skiing. Well, then you did see him at the end of a rope. <laughs> <laughs> Parker. I am talking to Mikhail. And while I am, you freeze. I mean, you go 40 below. You understand me? Don't check your head, you're frozen. <laughs> and now, Mikhail, to get to you. That little whirl over the waves that you took out there is going to cost you $1,000. Thousand dollars? What are you talking about? I am talking about using Navy property for your own personal use. Let me see now. Navy fuel expended, that would be about six hundred dollars. Wear and tear on the board would be about two hundred dollars. But, 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 Captain, you know, I, I like to keep in trim, so you got to keep fit for the good of the service. <laughs> Don't lean on my desk. Do you expect me to believe that? Well, it's just the best I could come up with in short notice, sir. But uh, I, I do have a tendency to put on a, a few pounds, you know. <laughs> so I like to, uh... Mikhail. I'm not interested in your weight problems. <laughs> uh, are you all right, Captain? No, I'm fine. Fine. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do something that I've never done before. I'm going to forget all about your little thousand dollar escapade. Oh. <laughs> we don't seem to be getting anywhere this way, Mikhail. I mean, always at each other's throats. Maybe if I saw more things your way, you might see some things my way. What I'm trying to say is, why don't we become friends, Quentin? Friends? 
You and me? Friends, Captain? Wally. Why not? Too, Parker. Defrost. Oh. <laughs> we're friends. <laughs> yes, of course. I mean, after all, right now we're all members of the same command, aren't we, Parker? <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> Chuck. Well, uh, why don't you boys run along now and meet me at the ship store in a half an hour? Huh? I've got some things to do, and we'll get together. We'll have some beers to celebrate, huh? <laughs> so long. Uh, so long. <laughs> <laughs> but, sir, I don't understand. Oh, of course you don't. That's why you're a lieutenant and I'm a captain. Oh, I tell you, Carpenter, I feel like Christopher Columbus. I've discovered a whole new world, and it's a world without Mikhail. Let's go. Oh, yes, Step back, please. I have to tell you everything. <laughs> yeah. I think your plan is brilliant, sir. I know. Mikhail has just got to be overweight, or at least close to it, but I have to know for sure. And then we'll be rid of him once and for all. Oh, glory, hallelujah. <laughs> well, here he comes, sir. Okay, we're all set. Oh, Captain. Oh, uh, hello there, Mikhail. Uh, are you Quentin? Oh, Quentin, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, and Chuck. Chuck. Hey, it's good to see you both again. Well, it's only been a half hour, sir. Oh, but it's nice to see you. Uh, Good friend, sir? <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, Quentin, I wonder, could you reach that box for me up there? Oh, well, sure. Here, I'll get it. After all, a friend in need is a friend indeed. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, uh, I mean, uh, Quentin's taller. It'd be easier for him to do it. <laughs> uh, would you do that for sure. me? How tall are you, Quentin? Uh, six feet, sir. On the button, sir. On the button. I'm sure that's six feet. I would have thought he'd be taller, wouldn't you? Uh, is this what you wanted, sir? Hmm? A lady's girdle, Mark One. <laughs> <laughs> Those are for the nurses. Oh. How about that? <laughs> I thought they were T-shirts, Quentin. Well, never mind. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. Why don't we go over to the club and have those beers, huh? Oh, well, anything you say, sir. Yeah. Oh, Wally. Oh, Wally. Wally. <laughs> well, you boys run along now, and you get a table, and I'll join you later on. Uh, uh, table for four, sir? Yeah, three, three. Carpenter's work to do. <laughs> well, we will really do it up. <laughs> Well, well, well. Uh, sir, according to the director, for a man of six feet, the maximum weight is 210 pounds, and McHale only weighs 205. Uh, Too bad, sir. Oh, don't be silly. You heard what he said. He's got a tendency to put on weight. Only six more pounds, and out he goes. Oh, but, sir, that medical officer is getting here next Wednesday. Oh, so what? That gives us almost a week to fatten him up. <laughs> you keep that directive a secret, and that's an order. Just think, Carpenter, we're only six pounds from paradise. <laughs> How do you think, Grant? Do you have another beer? Oh, well, uh, no, thanks, Captain. I don't want to make a pig of myself. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Oh, that was a short one, Wally. <laughs> like one for the road, Quinn. Have some more pretzels, oh, too. Oh, nice. I like it. Pretzels. Yeah. <laughs> Here you are, Quinn. Zach. I thought we were friends, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 54 volt. These are your supplies. Let's go. Let's go, men. Come on. Hi, hey. Oh, uh, no, Commander McHale. Uh, these aren't yours, please. 82 volt, men. Right over here, your supplies. Move it along, boys. Come on. You don't have all day. Oh, now, Commander McHale. These are your supplies. <laughs> I uh, think you're going to need a little more help, sir. <laughs> oh, I <heck yeah. laughs> yeah, Well, if I must say so myself, we've done a fine week's work. Our goose is stuffed and ready to be cooked. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure the medical officer will find him pleasingly plump. <laughs> yes, I'm sure he will. But just to make certain that he will, tonight we're going over the top. And I want you to pass our menu along to the chef. Oh, yes, sir. Hi, Clint. 
I'll save you a dance. Oh, how are you, Molly? Ah, oh, good evening, Quint. How are you? Nice to see you. And Chuck. Oh, yeah. Captain, uh, I don't get this. What's this all about? Uh, yeah, what, uh, what, what do you mean, uh, Quint? You know what I mean. All this friendship routine and... Well, it just... Well, you know, you've never exactly made a dinner party for me before. <laughs> Quentin, I, I keep telling you, I'm trying to bury the hatchet. I'm trying to bury it deep. <laughs> you go ahead and enjoy yourself. I will talk later, Quentin, but we'll eat first. Now, there you go. Bon appetit. <laughs> bon appetit? Mmm. <laughs> Cream of chicken soup, delicious. Oh, I'm so glad you like it, Quentin. Mm. Yes, indeed. Hey, have some more. It's a small portion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll still add more croutons for Commander McHale. <laughs> oh, uh, Quentin, try some of this honey and orange sauce. I had the chef make this up especially in your honor. I don't know if I should, Captain. That's pretty rich stuff. Oh, nonsense, nonsense. If I can eat it, you can. <laughs> oh, I'd like to try some of that. Oh, of course. There you go. Mom. Hey, I don't understand it, Quentin. I seem to have given you the child's portion there. Oh? Yeah, yeah that's much better for you there. Thank you. Sure. Oh, I'm full. <laughs> I'm starved. Oh, no, we're not through yet, Parker. Save a little room for dessert. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Oh, chocolate chiffon pie. Hello, huh? Captain. How you, fellas? Oh, oh hi, Molly. Uh, join us, Commander. I'd love to. Thank All you. All right. Good. Uh, I need a fork. <laughs> hey, Quint. Aren't you overdoing it a little? You haven't missed a course. And now chocolate chiffon pie? <laughs> well, maybe you're right. <laughs> well, here, I'll take his pie. Well, you won't take his pie. I mean, uh, <laughs> how many calories could there be in a little piece of pie? In that slice, 400 calories at least. Okay, Quint, go ahead, but you'll never be in shape for that special physical tomorrow. Special physical? What special physical? Yeah, well, what special physical are you talking about? What, 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 what? Well, the chief medical officer arrives tomorrow at 0800. You must have seen the directive, Captain. Conflict's really cracking down. All combat officers who are overweight will be shipped out. Overweight? Shipped out? <laughs> no, no, oh, yeah. yes, I, I, I do remember uh, saying something about that directive, but I'm sure it has nothing to do with anybody here. <laughs> so that's what this is all about, my fine feathered friend. Uh, care for a piece of pie, Chuck? Mr. Parker, to you. Come on, Chuck. I hate to eat and run, but I'm sure the good captain will excuse us. Huh. Some pal! <laughs> Two fifteen. 215? Yeah, the directive says at 210 is a maximum. You're five pounds overweight. Oh, we gotta do something about hey, that. That's yeah. Is this that's on the level, Skip? Can they really ship you out if you're overweight? That's what Molly Turner says. I guess Conflict's really cracking down. I've been stabbed with my own fork and spoon. <laughs> oh. Have some more soup, Quint. Go on, have some more sauce, Quint. Why, that blasted little pipsqueak had me eat my way on it right off the base. Yeah. Yeah. Dirty trick. Well, let's not stand around, Skipper. You still got 10 hours to knock that weight down. Yeah, that's two hours a pound, though. Oh, no, I'll never make it. Sure you will! Hey, hey, hey. hey, Fooge! I'm supposed to be steamed, not fried! <laughs> three ounces. Oh, oh, oh. Well, uh, let's face it, guys. Hey, it looks like Binghamton's got me over a barrel this time, and I'm afraid the barrel's my own. Let's keep us out. We got to keep flying. Yeah. 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 Oh, wait a minute now. Even after all that exercise, I, I'd never wind up looking like you in one week. The skipper's right. A Mr. America, he ain't gonna be. Well, it's... Hey, now. Wait a second. Skipper, this chief medical examiner that's coming down here, he ever met you? Well, no, I don't think so. Why? Slip into this boy. What are you doing, Lester? 
helping you try on your new uniform, Verge. You've just been promoted. No, 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 wait a minute, Groob. Well, Commander McHale, you're certainly in fine shape. You mean you want Virgil to put on the skipper's uniform and take the examination for him? That's impersonating an officer. Section 11, Article 3. Oh, wait a minute, I'm just a sailor. What are they going to do, bust me to civilian? Skip you. Hey, I don't know. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Now, this is a desperate situation that calls for desperate measures, right? Uh, we'll do it. <laughs> well, suppose somebody sees him in your uniform. Well, I'm sure Molly would cooperate. We'll work it out so that Virgil takes the examination last, after everybody's gone. Yeah. <laughs> well, what about Binghamton? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's our one problem, Binghamton. We've got to find some way of putting him out of action. And I think I know just how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> one more hour, Carpenter. Just think of it. M minus 60 and then we're minus McHale. <laughs> ah, it's almost like having a second Christmas. <laughs> something, Parker. Oh, yes, sir. I, I, I was looking for the skipper. <laughs> okay, now what would he be doing here? He's over on his own island, getting ready for his physical. Oh, well, he uh, disappeared, sir. Disappeared? Yes, sir. Well, this morning he ran into the brush, and, uh, well, I thought he might have slipped off the island and come over here, but I guess he's still over there. Well, bye. <laughs> what a coward. That sneak. He's not going to chicken out of that physical. Oh, over my dead body, get our hats, Carpenter. Yes. We'll go over to McHale's Island and bring Blubber Boy back here personally. <laughs> That's your hat. <laughs> hey, Skipper! Hey, did you see him? Where could he be? Skipper, come back! What in blazes is he trying to pull? Chuck Signal. All right, let's go, you guys. And look, take the captain's boat along. Come on, let's go. Easy. Quiet. Dick, you're a thing, huh? Where's my boat? Where's the PT boat? McHale Parker! Where did everybody go? You men cut them out! Bring those boats back here! Stand there, Carpenter. Do something. Do something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, sir. What? We should be able to make it back across the lagoon in this life raft. All right. Blow it up. I don't care if we have to use water wings. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Oh, sir. The automatic inflator handle seems to have broken. There's only one thing to do, Carpenter. Blow it up with that big mouth of yours. <laughs> Hi, fellas. <laughs> Hello, Sam. Hi, right, Joe. Well, you go ahead and change. I'll get a hold of Molly. Will you, Burge? Come on. I sure hope this works. I hope it does too, Molly. Because if it doesn't, there's going to be more fireworks than a Chinese New Year in Shanghai. <laughs> hey, now, how about that? You're a fine figure of a man there, Commander McHale. Now, listen, Quint. You keep checking through that door, and as soon as we finish examining the last officer, I'll give you the high sign, and then you send Virgil in. I got you. And, and Molly, I don't know how to thank you. Well, what does this suggest? Uh, hey, you want to go fishing? <laughs> We're all set, sir. Now, what are we supposed to do? Huff and puff our way across the thing? Get some oars, boy, oars. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> I 
water. Don't float on sand. you like to have me do warm it up for you well would wouldn't be a bad idea <laughs> turn around <laughs> hey, hurry it up Binghamton could be here any minute all right you can get dressed now next man i believe commander mckayle's the last one sir mm -hmm. <laughs> this is it commander Good luck. Commander McHale? That's right, sir. Straight to the waist. <laughs> well, that's some bells you've got there, Commander. Thank you very much, sir. I do try to keep fit. Uh, on a scale, please. <laughs> Put that up on your head, please. Well, Pete, you've, you've grown an inch and you've lost 20 pounds since your last exam. <laughs> well, yes. Yes, sir, I, uh, I attribute that to... Uh, a lot of fresh air, moderate exercise, and uh, uh, leading a good, clean life. Yes. You can get dressed now, Commander. I won't have to examine you any further. Thank you, sir. You, you did it, you clean liver, you. Get out of the uniform, and let's get out of here. Jensen, thank goodness you're still here. I wanted to catch you before you got away so I could get a hold of McHale and have you examine him. What are you talking about, Binghamton? I just got through examining McHale. He showed up? Well, certainly. <laughs> what happened to you? Uh, never, oh, never mind. Uh, when does he ship out? Ship out? Why should I ship him out? He's one of the most perfect specimens I've ever seen. McHale? <laughs> you come back here! <laughs> The nerve to call that man a perfect physical specimen. You take another look at him. What are you talking about, Binghamton? Go on, doctor. Take another look in that room. <laughs> oh, excuse me, McHale. Binghamton, I'm going to repeat. That man, McHale, is in perfect shape. Which is a lot more than I can say about you. Why, you must be blind. McHale is pure flab. Oh, so I'm blind, huh? Well, I can see well enough to see that if anybody around here is fat enough to ship out, it's you. <laughs> Make him to the scale. Me? What are you I mean, you look like you've been drinking too much beer. Hit that scale. What do you think? Yeah, this is I'm to the scale. Get a move on. That's an order. <laughs> Gus, Skip, I still think you should have invited your dear friend Captain Binghamton to brunch. Oh. <laughs> After all, Skip, he did pick up the tabs for all the other meals. <laughs> yeah, it's the only courteous thing to do. Come on, knock it off, you guys. Even if I did invite Binghamton, he wouldn't come. And you know why. <laughs> Here's to the captain, what a surprise. Here's to the captain, he has to exercise. <laughs> <laughs>